this is my first Mask Singer Season 11 live show. It's been kind of strange because, as you know, this is the second episode of the season. But because of last week being my birthday, which I like to say was the Mask Singer's gift to me, it is now time. I took it off. I know I took it off last week. It's now time for me to finally go live with you. So I know this is the first one of the season and it is 7.30, so we're gonna take a few moments to wait for everyone to join us. You may notice that we are going live in vertical versus horizontal. That's mostly due in part to the fact that YouTube wants us to do it this way. It's kind of interesting. I kind of wanted to do one just like this and then in the future, depending on your guys' feedback, we could decide whether or not this is something that we want to do. All that being said, while we're waiting for everyone to join us, let me know where you're joining us from. We got a couple people on right now. People started sending me messages like, hey, where are you? Where is this guy? I don't know where he is. He's supposed to be live. I think that moving forward, 7.30 is going to be the ideal time that we're going to go live. But Giraffe Boy, hi. Hi, Logan. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Polly. Hey, Justin. Hey, Linda. Hey, Lauren. Oh, it's so good to hear from you. How you doing? Ronnie's from Maine. Tony from Sweden. Oh, hi. Karen from Orlando. I'm going to Florida in a month. Logan from Kentucky. Lee from New Zealand. Hi, that's cool. That's so cool. Giraffe Boy from California. Coco Davis. Hi, how are you? You've got Polina from Germantown, Wisconsin. Stephania from Richmond, Virginia. Panda from Alabama. From Florida, Canada. We've got three other countries besides the United States. Uh, so, uh, it's Sue Koto, uh, uh, Soto from New York City, Atlanta, uh, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Connecticut. Lauren says, you're coming to Florida. Yes, I'm doing a cruise out of Miami. Um, oh, gosh, it's been a while since we did one of these live streams. First things first, I apologize last year. That uh, last year, last week, it was my birthday, so I did not go live for you for the premiere of The Mask Singer season 11. And it's kind of funny because I told you in my video earlier that day, because I filmed a whole 30 minute video for you guys, I told you in that one video that by the time The Mask Singer starts airing its episode, I'm going to be deep inside a mango shaved ice with mango ice cream with chunks of mango with mango topping and it was exactly 805 when this massive thing of mango showed up to my table and I laughed and I had I said Julia can you take a photo of me and I, she's like why I said because I told my followers that exactly the time the show is going to be going on I'll be eating mango and it was exactly 805 so I had her take a picture. I put it on Instagram. So if you jump on Instagram at Joey Contino, you could see me eating and I, it's a lot. It's like, it's like a tower of mango. And for those who don't know, this is the in-season for mango between now and August. And I'm a big mango guy. So for me, I was like, oh my God, this is heaven. So I do feel guilty that I was not with you guys last week. But for my birthday, I went to a history museum. Got to see some, some really, really cool airplanes out of Dover, Delaware. Get to spend the day with my wife and her sister, and it rained all day, but it is what it is. And uh, all that being said, I don't regret missing last week. I did get home around ten thirty, and I did a reveal video for you. Um, but you know, I, I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, I know a lot of people had sent me messages and photos on Instagram at Joey Contino, but to be honest with you, I just walked into my house. Uh, literally, I've been out all day. I had this time zone, by the way, this time change really screwed me up. I am so behind. Like every night I've been going to bed at 6.30 and then waking up at 10. Like I'm getting less sleep than usual. And so this morning I woke up, I got into work and my wife is starting a business. I don't know if you know this. She's opening up Mava Beauty Lounge in Haddonfield, New Jersey. It's a beauty salon. She's opening it with her sister. They're doing eyelashes and nails and all that. Uh, that being said, Today, without any warning, we had a phone call that the furniture was being delivered, and so we had to run over there. So I literally started making all my TikToks and just quickly ran out to go do that. So I, I'm literally walking back in my house since uh, 12-ish, which is kind of like goofy. But I totally hurt my back. I cut my finger open. It was bleeding everywhere, picking up this furniture. So, yeah. 
Uh, all that being said, <sighs> Mask Singer, are you guys getting excited? I am personally getting excited for tonight's episode. It is. Someone says, never had a mango or mango flavored anything. You're missing out. Come on, Tammy, you're missing out. Um, we have about 66 people watching. We're only going to go live for half an hour uh, up until 8 o'clock. And I got a lot of messages grabbing my computer. Um, Mr. Fulton says his birthday is tomorrow. Well, happy almost birthday. You're turning 25. That's so cool. I remember when I turned 25. Uh, Tori says, are you going live tonight? Yes, live now. Uh, if you guys could share this video in the Facebook pages, uh, so that way we can get more views. Um, so we got a couple of videos. One is going to be the gumball. Tonight's group, actually before we do that, tonight is group B. So if you're thinking that tonight we're going to go ahead and see the goldfish again and the starfish again and the ugly sweater, and no, that's not tonight. Those four characters are coming back, not next week, the week after that. This is group B. In group B, we got Gumball, who I'm excited for. We've got Afghan Hound, that we all thought was Poodle. That's the real name of it. Which, I didn't even know that was a, I didn't even know that was a kind of dog. So, that's kind of cool. We've got Beats, and Beats is like, I kind of like Beats. It's a duet, so there's two Beats. And these two, we don't know. I don't, I don't know. At least it's the very second. One second. Let me see. I don't think we have any performances for them just yet. Let's see here. I don't see any performance for them just yet. I don't see anything. But And then lastly, we have the one character who I want to keep pronouncing wrong because I'm so used to saying Cleopatra, but it's Cleopatra, which I love that name. I love that name. Tonight's mask Singer theme is Wizard of Oz. And, I mean, yes, it is the anniversary of Wizard of Oz, but we also know that there is a new Oz movie coming with Ariana Grande, and boy, am I excited for that. I, I am, I'm very excited for this movie. It's going to be in two parts. So I'm assuming the first one comes out this year and the next one next year. Hollywood's been doing a lot of that. Like, I can't believe Dune is like three or four years apart from each other. First one was great. The second one was even better. So I'm very excited. Um, so yes, yeah, so we do have a lot of different preview videos to share with today's episode. We do know who's coming back to perform. Huh? Who was the winner of the Masked Singer? Was that two seasons though? Leanne Rhymes! She is coming back. She's going to be singing tonight. We had a preview clip of her singing. I love her voice. We, we have a, all right, let's be honest. There's been a lot of great winners on The Masked Singer, and they've all been fantastic. And not to spoil things, we kind of already know who's winning this season, thanks to Fox and the way that they really suck at social media. Hey, Fox, why don't you hire people like me? I would never let anyone know or spill the beans on who's being revealed. I always feel like they, they don't mean to do it, but when it happens, it's like, ah, man, why? Why would, why would you do that to us? So yes, ah, oh, my first real cup of coffee for the day. Anyway, oh, Leon Rhymes is season four. That's even further back. Oh my God, I can't believe it's been that long. These season, we're in season 11. Season 11, I can't believe it. I honestly cannot believe it. Anyway, so we've got some preview videos, starting off with the gumball. Man's an empty cattle. He should be on his metal. I know this voice. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Yeah? Just because If I only had a brain. Oh, heart. Forgot. Ooh, that's the other character. And then it changes. Ready? This is my last beat song, and I'm gonna play you. Up, 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 all night long. Up, 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 all night long. That's Kelly Clarkson. That's a killer song. Even the dances on this video is so great. Oh. Whoa! Oh, what a great, this is a great song, right? It sounds familiar, right? 
Lawrence is talking to the guy from Train. Does definitely, definitely a boy band vibe. A long time. This is my happy song, and I'm gonna play it. We up, 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 up all night long. Up, up all night long. What a great song, right? Devin says, Pat Mahone. Yeah, it could be him too. All right, so a few things. He's a great voice, has a great voice. I love the way he sings. If you've seen our spoil videos, it kind of makes sense, especially with him and the goldfish. All that being said, I have no idea on who that could be, but it sounds like someone from a boy band. Lauren, this is where you come in. You're a big boy band girl. So I, I, like, I know you know this, right? I know you gotta know who this is. Who do you guys think that is? Tony says it's a lead singer from, from Train. I don't know. I don't think so. This person sounds like someone who does sing, but, like, is it known to be in the front? I mean, it's got to be... Someone says I want Joey. Joey or JC? Oh, dude, I would love JC, but Lauren's right. It's definitely not JC. JC has a different tone in his voice. Pat Monahan. It could be Pat. Uh, someone says they keep hearing... Ben Platt. Nah, Ben Platt has kind of like more nasally in his nose. Jennifer's Joey, you can't play the whole song because I know you get a copyright strike from YouTube. I will. The other day I did play one. I played the goldfish one and got hit with one. I was like, are you kidding me? It's like, uh, when it comes to copyright laws, I wasn't trying to do anything except for give context on it. And usually that gives you like a leeway, which allows you to do it. But clearly not on YouTube sometimes, but kind of is what it is. Someone says, Kevin McHale's in a boy band. That's true. I've got a splinter in my hand. That's kind of weird. Someone says, Lance Bass. I don't know if it's Lance. Lauren, that doesn't sound like Lance, right? You only know NSYNC. See, I, I don't know. Was I more of a Backstreet Boy or an NSYNC guy? I think it was more NSYNC. I don't know, though. I like them both. 98 Degrees, also another great band. There's a lot of great boy bands from back then. So... Cassie said Skyler from Pitch Perfect, maybe. So, no one really, I mean, we don't have any clues, so there really is no way to figure out who's under the mask of him yet. Uh, Balkans is right. Vanessa Hutchins did come out during the Oscars that she's pregnant, which still works for the mask singer, by the way. Still kind of does. Anyway, um, let's see here. Coco Davis says, I have a feeling Gumball makes it to the semifinals, final, and wins Group A finals. I agree. All right, so anyway, someone says Kevin Richard from Backstreet Boys. Ooh, I don't know. I haven't, haven't heard him sing. You know what? I don't know. That's a, that's a good guess, though. So, anyway, uh, next on the list. Thank you, Robert, by the way, for sending me these videos. We have... Oh, this is uh, Leanne Rhymes singing. Sing it, Leanne! Sing it! Somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow. Man, her voice. Oh, oh man, right? It restarts. Um, my gosh, that lady can sing. I mean, her voice is phenomenal. Am I right? Like, I can listen to, I mean, obviously growing up, her biggest song for me was Blue, um, which was an old song that she redid. And every single song she's done after that, her voice is just so smooth, right? So there's a new instinct called, called Paradise. Yeah, there is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. All right, who else we got here? Oh, we get introduced to the Afghan Hound. The 
So for those asking that character tonight that we had not been introduced into, that's who that is. Thank you again, Robert, for sending that along. Archie says, hey, Joey, I think the Masked Singer has just shown us the costume for season 11, the post of Jenny McCarthy. Quite recently, missing costumes are Noodle, which we know, I think you met Poodle, but Afghan Hound, Moth, Sir Lion, Koala, and Seal. And the name of the chef outfit is Spaghetti and Meatballs. Pretty neat. Uh, let's see what other questions we have coming in here. That's the gumball. Okay, I'm trying to see if anything else came in while I was talking to you guys. It does not look like that. And I just want to jump on the Mask Singer. For those who don't know, the Mask Singer has like its own Instagram channel group. Or like they put things in there about the show and I don't really quite understand it. Because like some days I'll give you a lot of information and the other days it's like nothing. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So those are all the messages we had got. Tori just sent me over an Instagram post. I don't know what this one is. And new mask enter the chat. Those are the official masks. Okay, we went through that already. There really isn't many clues to go through for tonight. You were there, and you were there. Clip from the show. Yay! Oh, wow. And I, I was in it too. Yes. yes. It was a nightmare, of course. <laughs> All right. I had a strange dream. And we got that clip. Oh, the Paley Museum. I'm just so excited. Blue Bloods was here. As a new That's really, is that really it? It's really, they don't have much. I'm still laughing at Kevin Hart. I still can't believe Kevin Hart was in the show last week. So, all that being said, what stuff do you guys want to go over? Do you guys have any questions for me? We've got Pitch Correct Audi that we did the other day. Uh, so we can go over that if you really want to, but we could probably save that for another week or two since they're not coming back. Um... So, a lot of questions. So, um, out of those four costumes, who do you think is going home? Actually, let's put that... Can I do polls in this vertical form? Let's do a poll to see who you guys think is going home tonight. Let me open this up. This is my first time. This is a new setup. I don't know if you even noticed this. Because we're doing this on uh, a different computer, a different phone, different... I mean, literally everything's different. Except for the backdrop. So let's add in a poll. Let's see if I can do this. Who... Create a poll. Yes, I want to create a poll. Who is going home tonight? Beats. Gumball. Definitely not the gumball. But we're going to have to write it in there anyway. Afghan. Hound. I know I spelled that wrong. Oh, dyslexia. Afghan. Hound. Oh. Can I add a... Well, let me add a third option. Oh, it's got to. Why is it not letting me? You got Beats, the Gumball, I've got Hound, and... All right. So, what I just did for you guys, in the comment section, okay? Cleo keeps wanting me to re-spell Cleo Catra because technically speaking, that's not a... Uh, that's not a real name. A lot of people are actually asking me, is it Ms. Cleocatra? And I've seen it both ways. You can kind of say them both ways, which are totally fine. So, in here, I just put a poll up. You can see it right at the bottom. Who is going home tonight on The Masked Singer? Okay, you got Cleocatra, such a fun name. Gumball, which is totally going to win this group. And then you have the beats, the beep, 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 beep. No, don't do that. They're just, I don't know. They seem like they're older, right? The way that they kind of walked on stage. And then you have, what am I missing here? The beats, the blow, is it Cleopatra, Afghan Hound, Gumball. I think it's all four. Beats, Cleopatra, Gumball, Afghan Hound. So 43 people have voted already. What questions do you guys have for me while we're waiting for the votes to be counted? Logan says, is there a wild card tonight? No, that's usually a little bit later. Mr. Ford, Forced one, it says bye-bye beats. Okay. Uh, Coco says that it seems like the hound's going to go home. Kelly says, I love you, Joey. Thank you so much. So it says, where's your season 11 boards? Well, the official costumes, 
didn't come out until just a few days ago. We don't have official cards and we stopped doing boards because it takes me like hours on end and it's just, it's just too much. And so we just stick to the traditional backdrop. Uh, who do you think the lovebird is? I need more clues on the lovebird. I only know the starfish, which I already revealed. I revealed the starfish last Friday. If you want to go ahead and check out that video, jump on there. It's, it's like three or four videos back. Uh, which of your costumes are my favorite so far? Goldfish, man. If I th if it is who I say it is, it's I'm gonna be so happy. Someone says maybe it's Colton Underwood. I don't think so. Draft Boy says he knows who Gumball is. Tell me who it is. Un Uncle Vito too. Wish JoJo Siwa was a judge on the show. She'd be fun, dude. I just saw a picture of her the other day. She's got like a whole arm of tattoos. I mean, she could do whatever she wants. But I was like, damn, what happened to Jojo? That's a sweet little girl. She's like a grown woman with tattoos. She looks like God. Like, I was like, what happened here? Uh, and someone says I was calling it the bad scientist. Yeah. Uh, who do I think the goldfish is? I mean, we could talk about that, but I don't want to spoil it for folks. Uh, Odd134 says, hey, say hi to me, please. Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, so there's Hayden there. Hi, Hayden. Someone says Baby Monster for season 12. Don't worry, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We haven't had a real good monster in a while, so I'm working on it. Someone says Ugly Sweater could be Charlie Wilson. You never know. Draft Boy says, no, I went to the taping where the gumbo was unmasked, so I'm not going to spoil it. No, don't spoil it. Or send me a message privately, and then I could spoil it. No, I'm, I'm joking. Spider Book goes, JoJo gives me goth vibes now too, Joey. I mean, JoJo, was such, she was such a sweet girl. I don't know what happened. Linda says, hi, Joey, you're fantastic. Hi, Linda, how are you? Joey, did you watch We Are Family? I did not. Uh, for those who really don't know, the only show I watch is The Masked Singer. That's it. That's really it. It's the only show I watch. Um, I also do watch, though, Farmer Wants a Wife, because, I mean, if you watch the credits, you would understand why. Um... Cool Cat 49. I'm not going to say that out loud, but you're right. You're right. You're right. I, I mean, you're, you're pretty right. Joey, what is so, what is your favorites? What are your favorites this season so far? Characters is Goldfish and Gumball. Those are my two favorites right now. How was it meeting Demi Lovato? I met Demi Lovato back in 2016. She was a sweetheart. She was so sweet. Um, I got a couple of photos online with her and there's a couple of stories behind that, which I, I can't really tell, but she was, she was a sweetheart. Her manager was great. Um, uh, we took a couple of photos. We talked for a little bit, but that was a while back, man. That was, that was a real long time back. Someone says, uh, Lauren says, I love, we are family. It made me cry. I gotta go. I gotta watch this now. Joey, what is your mask singer costume that you will always forget was a costume? What was your mask singer that you always forget was a costume? I don't, I, I do, I want to know because I have no idea. I want to remember, and that's why I don't have an answer. <laughs> what is your thoughts about the Eagles getting, oh, uh, Barkley, oh my God, it's great. Uh, someone says you need to go on the mask singer. I would love to if Fox will have me. And I promise, Fox, I wouldn't spoil it. So this is happy birthday to Luma. Happy birthday, Luma. Uh, someone says get a baby monster for next season. Yes. So. Jeremy says, could you give me a shout out? No, that's your shout out. All right, so while we're doing all of this, only 84 people have voted so far. It's 151 people. We said in the group chat, who do you think is going home tonight? Afghan Hound. We've got the Beats, the Beats, 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 Cleopatra, and Gumball. Gumball's definitely not going home. And in asking in that poll, you guys have Hound going home 54%. Then in second place is Beats. In third place is Miss Cleocatra. And in fourth, the Gumball. Everyone loves the Gumball. Guys, also, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like button. There's only 35 and 140 people on here. When you hit the like buttons on here, and when you comment in the actual comment section, it pushes the videos further. I know that YouTube is getting ready to change their algorithm, and so that's why we're actually going in vertical. It's a little bit different. I'm not used to it yet because I'm used to it this way and all that. But to be honest with you, I'm very big on TikTok. So I'm used to going live like this on TikTok. For those who don't know, 
just actually on the day of my birthday last Wednesday, I hit 250,000 subscribers on TikTok, which is insane. It's been a week since then. We gained another 10,000. So we're at like 2,600. No, uh, 260,000. Woof. I can't do, I can't do, uh, I can't do numbers. Good old dyslexia. And the exact number for today is, oh, 263,000. So just in a week and a half, we did uh, another 13,000 followers on there. So it's, it's, I'm getting back used to doing TikToks, but now like, you know, I do like five, six a day and, um, and, and going back to YouTube, it's like kind of strange how going back and forth. All right, so the votes, 94 people voted. Guys, 145 people on here, you gotta vote. Uh, Afghan Hound has 52%. Third place, Beats at 28%. Third place is Ms. Cleo Catra. Meow, where's, where's Jackie? I think Jackie would like that costume with 11% and Gumball with nine. I feel like that does not add up to 100, but it is what it is. Now, how do I get rid of this? I'm trying to, mm. I am trying to get back to, how do I hide this? Sorry, I'm getting used to this. I can only end the poll. I don't want to see the poll anymore. There we go. Uh, so, someone says they're trying to stop TikTok, that they are, it's annoying, uh, I mean, if you go through my TikTok videos, we went through all this in the details about what's actually happening. For those who don't know, my TikTok channel is not Mask Singer. Uh, every platform I'm on, I do something different. So on YouTube, I've got two YouTube channels. We've got this YouTube channel here, which is like mostly Hollywood headlines and vlogs and fun and goofy. On my other channel, Wildwood Video Ar Archive, which we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, which are not too far away. I think we're like maybe 12,000 away. So subscribe on there. Um, that one's all about South Jersey and history and all that jazz. Then on TikTok, uh, Joey Contino is all news about Ukraine, all news about what's happening in the United States. So that's a completely different audience. Twitter's also kind of a mix of weird things. So um, all together, I think if you count up my Facebook groups, my TikTok channel, my YouTube channels and everything like that, I think we're sitting at a half a million followers, which is pretty awesome. More than that, probably, because my one Facebook page is 193. So 193 plus his other one. So yeah, well, we'll just say a half a million. So it's kind of fun. So what questions do you guys have for me? Let me know in the comment section. The show starts in five minutes. Um, I'm probably going to be eating while watching the show, mostly because I have not eaten today yet. Actually, last time I ate was last night's dinner, which was uh, 24 hours ago. <laughs> uh, it's been kind of one of those days. And I'm sitting weirdly because my back is in so much pain. But it is what it is. You get old, you understand. Um, funny enough, next week, or in, in three weeks, Lauren, I'm, I'm going to Haiti on my cruise ship. <laughs> so I'm kind of confused on what's going to happen there. If you know and follow the news, it's been a weird situation. What did I get for my birthday? Nothing. Um, I don't, I'm not really big on gifts. And so I told everyone, just give me, I'm going on a cruise. I'm like, if you guys want to give me anything, just give me money for my cruise. Uh, so we can use it on an excursion, maybe go swim with the dolphins or the turtles and things like that. So, you know, that's, that's, that's it. My wife, if you watched this channel last week, you would know my wife decorated the whole studio. My parents got me balloons and things. So you can see that. Um, I had other birthday cards and things. This one's for Valentine's Day. Julia loves going out of her way to get crazy cards. So this one's for Valentine's Day. I still have my Christmas one over here. It's a train that lights up and moves. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't... If you're asking if I got something for my birthday, I did not. Uh, and that's fine. That's okay. Um, you know, I always... Of course, people ask me what, they, what I want, and I'd rather people donate money. Uh, so I have had people donate money to Ukraine and a couple other things. So, uh, but yeah, so that's that. And if you want to donate for my birthday, <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, I don't, don't worry about me. Uh, I hate people spending money on me. I'm not that kind of person. I've always been bad with gifts. So someone says, can you react to my song, Chicken Nuggets? I promise it's fire. 
You gotta send me it. I'll play it on here. Jeremy says, I'm at the beach in Daytona. Nice. I'm flying down to Miami, staying there for a day before hopping on Oasis of the Seas, a ship we did a while ago. And of course, I'm filming all of this for you guys. Every day is being filmed. Just like all my other cruises. I film every single day because I do this for work. You know, it's a vacation, but I do it for work. Draft Boy went to 20 tapings. Oh, I'm so jealous. I think we met, right? We met. Mr. Force says, I've been a fan of you since season four. Oh, thank you. It's Jerry says, Beats or Blake Shelton and Gwen? No way. I, I would die. I would die if Blake Shelton and Gwen are together on there. If they're starting singing, singing um, what's her latest song? The Flower. What's it called? What's it called? It's a flower song. Oh, I can't remember the name of the song. I was just listening to it yesterday. Oh, now this is gonna bother me. This is this is this is bothering me. Lilac? Is it Lilac? If you're a Blake and Gwen fan, what is that song? That new duet, Purple Irises. Thank you, the VP. Ah, thank you. Kai says, Giraffe Boy, how much money do you have? The Masked Singer taping tickets are free. So if you wanted to go, they're free. So it says, have fun in Haiti. We're, the mask, uh, the cruise I'm going on, which, by the way, I guess I should tell you now, that means that week I won't be live on the show. I just realized now I needed to tell you that. So that means that is, so you guys know, that's, that is April 10th. I totally forgot to tell you. April 10th, I will not be here that whole week. So there won't be really many videos for The Masked Singer. I'll have videos up until that Wednesday, but there'll be no live stream. There'll be nothing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, I'll be back. So I feel like I, feel like I probably should have told. This is a weird season for me. Weird, weird season. Anyway, we only have a few minutes to go. It looks like a minute and a half. So let's just go through the poll one last time. 126 people voted. Who do you think is going to go home tonight? Afghan Hound, 47%. Second place is Beats at 27%. Third place, wow. Gumball, interesting. And fourth, Miss Cleo Catra. Uh, we have uh, about 45 seconds until the show starts. Robert says, have Nal and Jack been doing good at home? They have been. I'm so excited for them to, like, calm down fully so they're okay with each other. They're getting there. So anyway, guys, I'm going to say this straight from my heart. I appreciate you guys. You have no idea how much I appreciate you guys coming on here, watching my videos, supporting my channel, subscribing, liking, and commenting on my videos. I do this for you guys. You guys are all my friends, my best friends. So... I appreciate it. You guys, go enjoy the episode. I'll put the reveal on here once it happens. I'll record a quick little video, give you my reaction, then put it online. So please stay safe. I'll recap the episode tomorrow. We'll do pitch correct audio over the weekend. I don't know if I'm going to have time to reveal anyone, but if so, I'll try to work it out for you. Anyway, guys, stay safe. Thank you for your support. I'm going to go eat something while watching the show. I'll see you later.